The David Shepherd Wildlife Foundation was set up to conserve wildlife in their natural habitat. So we take a holistic approach to conservation. So that means most of the work that we do has to have a number of elements. So the main one is law enforcement, park protection and anti-poaching being the main part. Education is a key part of what we do and also community outreach. That these animals deserve a better fate than to be killed for their ivory. cocaine, even diamonds, the coveted horn of the endangered rhino. So we very much believe that conservation is a long game. Um, it's very important to invest in key projects and make sure that they have a sustainable future. It's safe to say that everyone in the organisation has a fantastic ethos that was built from the legacy that my grandfather set up. So a key part of our DNA is wanting to give back to the wildlife that we are very privileged to be able to see on a daily basis. So one of Grandad's key messages was he felt he owed a debt to wildlife for the success that he was owed through his painting career. So it's incredibly lucky for us that we are able to continue that work and with the same passion and dedication that, that he first started the organisation. The biggest thing, understanding that I've got from this trip is that without having the communities on board, the poaching problem won't be relieved. So we have to go in and educate, we have to empower those people and those communities and for those adults to pass that on to their children and their children's children to actually resolve this issue. The second main objective of the Community Outreach Department is to introduce alternative sustainable livelihoods to those communities living on the borders of national parks so that they're not forced into illegal wildlife activity. Um, and we do most of that through women's empowerment in Zambia. can inspire people to love something like wildlife, like elephants, rhinos, whatever it is, then they will want to learn about it. And if they learn about it, then they'll look to find out how they can make sure that it, it means something in the future, that it is here for our children and our children's children. do this now and if we don't create those vital funds to make that change my children and your children's children won't grow up with this incredible landscape the incredible wildlife that we see now it won't happen and I feel very strongly about making that change and I hope you'll support us in that. reached a period now when if you don't get it done mighty quick tomorrow it'll be too late.